Welcome to LensDiaries.com. This is Rolando Gomez, a professional author and photographer and founder of LensDiaries.com. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a sample of what would be a photo critique for our upcoming photo critiques and portfolio section. And I'm going to use one of my images. So obviously, I feel it's a good image, but there's always room for improvement, like in all photography. So let's take a this, look at this image first. If you look up here at the top, you see that line right there that's caused by the, the marble tile changing, especially this little piece right here where the white is. Obviously, that could be cropped away from the image um, before it's released for publication. So that would be one of the problems in this image. The other problem is photographers, um, sometimes we forget and we get caught up on what we're doing, but five seconds is a lot of time. For that matter, two seconds is a lot of time. But basically, in five seconds, I could have just walked up. I could have removed. You see this, this metal fish here? Um, there, there's no need for it in the image. It, it doesn't uh, really go there. It's, it's kind of dark. And with Holly's lighter hand here, it contrasts. So it does really bring you there instead of keeping you in her face. So this part right here really weakens the image. Again, um, when, when you're looking at your digital cameras with an LCD preview screen, this I should have caught right away. I actually shot this with a Leica R9 digital camera, uh, a Leica R9 film camera with a digital back. Um, so um, I know I could have removed this if I just taken the time to do that. And obviously in post-production, this is not as easy to remove with this marble complicated background. Another problem with this image, if you look in this area right here on the upper right, you'll see how light it is. Um, the human eye, it's a known fact that the human eye will always go to the lightest parts of the image first. So you see the highlights here in Holly's hair, you see it in her hand, you see it in the bubble, you see it in this water spigot here, and even some highlights in the water itself, another highlight here. Obviously the tub is one big highlight, uh, but this corner is, is distracting because it is a corner and it's a larger surface area. The easiest way to correct that is simply by uh, burning and dodge, uh, burning that area is what we call it in photography, which is basically you know to, to darken it up a bit. So that needs to be done in post-production before this image is released. Um, it, it's uh, what helps uh, this image for the problems that it has. You know this horizontal line up here, this uh, metal fish, and this light area is the fact that there are a lot of highlights in this image as well as a lot of action. So even though our eye will go up to the upper right up here, we also bounce around down here to the spigot, to, to the highlights in the bubble, the highlights in her hand, and to the highlights in her hair, and uh, up ultimately back here in her face. We have a little chiaro scudo, the intermixing of lights and darks to create the illusion of depth, as you see here, light, dark, light from the bubbles on her shoulder, and then it goes back to dark, then light again. Um, so there's there's a lot of action going on here that that helps kill some of these uh, problems with the image. Uh, another thing that I would do in post production before the release of this image, if you look here underneath her chin, you can't tell if that's hair. Uh, obviously, it's hair because we've got hair on this side, but uh, at first look, you don't know if it's hair, or water, or soap coming down off her chin. Uh, that's another distraction. But uh, the, the positives of this image is the fact you have a lot of action. The slower shutter speed allow the water to flow instead of be frozen. Um, this, this bubble, this opaque bubble, I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world to capture, specifically digitally, but we were able to, uh, with the Leica R9 with the digital back, this, this action, the blurry, blurriness of the hair uh, really adds to it. And probably one of the strongest points of the image, and this is something the late Monty Zucker used to talk about, is that great images tend to have a strong light coming from the side, as you see here, coming coming from the window, um, versus the front. Uh, it's either from the side or the back. So so the light strikes her hair, lights her face a little bit, creates that chiaro scudo, lights her hand, and even hits the highlight on the spigot. So you know there are some positives as well as some negatives. But this is an example of how we will do the photo critiques here on LensDiaries.com. Um, we look forward for you submitting your images, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this and you can learn from them. Remember that the best critiques, the best photo critiques, portfolio critiques, are the one that are the ones that are constructive and not destructive, and that's what we hope to do here. Thank you very much.